Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how through the border radius property I can create beautiful shapes, shapes that you wouldn't imagine would be possible through CSS or through border radius. When Navjot Singh Sidhu, the former Indian cricketer and the current commentator says Nazar badlo, nazara badlega, let's see what he actually meant. Uh, What he actually means uh, is that you change your vision, your perspective, and you get you know your things get better all around you. Let's see how we can apply this principle to CSS. Right. So right now uh, you can see uh, in the online code editor, which is CodePen.io, you know, I'm actually creating a pen. Pen is a document in CodePen, which and this CodePen dot io online editor is actually emit enabled emit is a code assist package or a plugin we'll see what that means right so let's start by creating the simplest of the task which is creating a circle through the border radius properties which rounds off your corners so uh, we're gonna say for example width 200 plus height 200 you may be wondering what's going on if I hit tab expands this way okay that's through the uh, Emmet enabled online editor right Emmet is so beautiful so helpful then next uh, what I'm gonna say is uh, BG tab which means uh, background and shorten property setting the background to black and now we have something in the preview area which is the white area down at the bottom you can see that 50 uh, pixels of margin all around through the body margin 50 px let's see if we can actually increase the size of wee bit yep okay cool now creating the circle is the easiest task guys we're gonna go to a semicircle a quarter circle a pie chart pac-man like shapes a little later and then BDR is for border radius 100% okay any value between 50 and 100 would do and if it's less than uh, let's say 50 then you'll get corners like this okay this water radius gets applied to all four sides cool so that's how you actually create the uh, circle now if you need to create a semicircle, it's so damn easy man just change the width to a 400 basically the rule is uh, to increase the width to double the size of the height and then let's remove the border radius here okay and then say border uh, top left radii or plus border top right radii okay <laughs> see this is image so beautiful and horizontal radii 50% vertical radii 100% as simple as that the only rule is that the width of the circle should be a width of the division should be double the size of the height okay so you see that way we are able to mold the uh, one of the corners okay but make sure that the horizontal radii and the vertical radii are not the same that's the only thing that you need to do copy this value guys paste it down below out here and you're actually done that's a semicircle. now copy this bit paste it out here like so just change okay this didn't get copied not a big issue All right, br1 copy this stuff this rule control c to copy just gonna paste it down below out here just change the br to br1 the new division with the class of br1 okay so now we have them lined up like this okay now just change the top to a bottom affecting the other corners the bottom corners okay so bottom bottom left radii bottom bottom right radii <laughs> and we have a complete cycle see if I just change the color you get a better idea see right so very cool mm. 
okay now going to revert to the color black so you have a complete circle again but there are actually two divisions this time that's the only difference now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to play around with the value transform property okay and I'm not using any vendor prefixes not required anymore with most modern or contemporary browsers and let's say uh, rotate just checking to see if the recording is uh, being done properly as it is okay rotate and then how many degrees you want to rotate let's say a 10 dg okay so you see uh, somewhat like you know pac-man like shape what you need to do is uh, see it's not turning properly around the right axis change the axis through the transform origin property and let's say 0% I beg your pardon that's 0% 0% okay horizontal and vert vertical uh, transform the two values so basically I'm changing the axis around which the axis is 0% 0% so top left that's the axis now and somewhat like Pac-Man right I'm gonna change this to let's say 20 let's see how this affects it see that let's try 40 see that let's go with a complete 50 right see different uh, Pac-Man like shapes pie charts you know and how about let's go with a 45 DG out here okay now I'm gonna play a trick I'm gonna change the color black to white <laughs> see that see so basically just changing the color of the bottom circle now this small bug out here I don't know why this happens uh, see the small thin line out here I'm gonna show that to you see this small thin line out here you know that's that'll be possible only if the one circle is not covering the other circle properly actually that shouldn't have happened small bug in the browser I suppose okay because ideally they should be sitting atop each other on top of each other perfectly if they're not sitting perfectly then you can see that small outline but I have figured out a way to actually uh, smash this problem okay so just just increase the size of the bottom circle just that uh, I'm sorry <laughs> this for 201 okay in fact still I can see that just make it 202 gone see it's getting erased now it's getting erased this part is erased just increase the height as well to 202 gone <laughs> right it's gone see that's why we say problems are bigger than they seem we just magnify problems they're actually so simple who would have thought that these kind of shapes would be possible with the border radius properties guys I hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace see ya